Our war in Africa is uh, going really, really well. I'm only fighting the UK. I don't have to fight Belgium or France just yet, but I think that's going to change by the end of this video. Okay, so quickly, two big events appeared over the break. We have the German Reich formalizing anti-Soviet pacts. So uh, that's, I mean, that's kind of relatively normal, I guess, condemning communism and things like that. Uh, but this is the other one. This is part of the expansion. Quit, uh, quit India movement. So it looks like Gandhi has failed, it looks like. Um, the peaceful, so pretty much the, uh, the extremists are trying to quit and leave uh, the Commonwealth as soon as possible. Uh, they shut it down, British so shut it down, I guess. UK shut it down, I should say. Uh, however, uh, many uh, in the uh, civil service have expressed fears that more extremists, elements, more extreme elements, I'm sure, extremist elements? I can't even read, so don't even, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, we'll see what happens with India, but um, it's not like India is having a huge impact right now. I mean, I guess they're contributing, definitely contributing a lot to the UK at the moment, but we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, I am now constructing two two synthetic oil factories, right? Yes. Yeah, I should say refineries. And, uh, and then we'll be going after more military factories as well. We've got the Germans here uh, sending support. I mean, this is this is going really, really smoothly for the most part. Um, all right, so we are trying to move up towards this, this lake. I believe this is Lake Victoria. I don't know. You think I would know this. But uh, Italy is having some success in Ethiopia, a little bit of success, and we should give them a lot more very soon. I just hope that they, they get Greece. They got to capitulate Greece as soon as possible. Um, yeah, France is going to cause at least some issues, but it's okay. We're coming. We're coming. I mean, we don't, we, we have a pretty, obviously a small front, which is good, but we can deal with a, a Belgium front if we need to, uh, right now. So that was the biggest thing at the last video, Belgium joined the common turn. I have never seen that happen, especially the fact that Belgium is not even close to communists. They were leaning fascist, if anything, but they're a majority uh, of a kind of a democratic nation. Anyways, we'll see how that goes. Really, really hope that Germany can uh, capitulate France in this video. That would be great if they can push through Belgium and then kind of go down from northern France to Paris. And it seems like Germany is also having lots of success against the Soviet Union at the moment. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind, really important, that uh, the Germans aren't technically at war with the UK yet, which is crazy. Uh, I'm guessing that's got to that's gotta help for something. I wonder if that's making it harder for us, though. It probably is. It probably is making it a little bit harder for us. Oh, wait, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Hey, what happened here? Did, uh... What the heck? Yeah, redraw this line. I, I don't know what just happened. Let's get rid of, um... Let's, let's, let's totally get rid of this naval invasion. That did not go as planned as I would have wanted to. Uh, I don't know if I want you to push like that. Hold on, let me, let me redraw that. Uh, how about no? Try again. Fall of Kiev. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's so good. All right. Okay. Good. Good news. Um, okay. So come here. There we go. And uh, we have the Japanese puppet joining the Axis too. You, th I, you think they would have joined the Axis no matter what? But whatever. It's fine. Can you do this? No, you can't do this. Okay. So nice try. Uh, my my boats. By the way, I got a, I had a destroyer freaking destroyed because uh, I'm, I'm an idiot and uh, the British just, just I don't know, rammed through it. But whatever. You know what I want to do? This is what I'm going to do with these, these five forces. Begin the front along Belgium and just wait for it because we know that they're going to come after they're going to come after us or they're going to come after the Axis in general. So that's going to be the plan. Uh, we'll delete this and uh, you guys can go back doing your thing. Uh, where'd you guys go? Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, so yeah, go to uh, go to Belgium. That's what I thought. I knew I had to. I, I feel like that this is kind of weird. I always have to click, but whatever. Looks like uh, the British are. Or I shouldn't. I shouldn't say the British. I know. I apologize. But they are using Belgium to their advantage, moving through their territory like that. I don't like that. I do not like that. This guy is making a strong push now. If we can encircle a few of these units, that would be great. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me let me finally use this guy. Uh, I think, you know what, I think I want this, I think I want a screen, attack, screen, defense. Let's do that. I don't really need anything else, right? Yeah. We're about to get, we're about to get a hold of uh, support notification of Southwest Africa. That's going to be great. We're also getting more and more terrain, more regions to build on. So, um, I mean, as soon as we get a little bit closer to Italy, Italy hasn't been pushing that much from Ethiopia. So, hey, it could, it could go to us. There we go. 
that's what I'm talking about. Uh, apparently, we got a hold of this too, just because we've already we, we're already part of the German Axis, I guess. So there there is no civil war. That that would have been an interesting route to have taken. Okay, um, what else do we really German scientists? Not a bad idea, but um, actually, you know what? Is there any sort of continuous? Uh, army training division training time oh that that sounds excellent that's really really good um i think i will technology sharing division training time let's oh you know what i don't think that that's a problem right now our problem is that we don't have enough equipment but we will very soon here take take some of this because i mean we're still doing well logistically i mean we're losing a little bit of infantry equipment but let's let's get on board with the support uh, by the way i added some uh, some more support units to this division. Okay, so the Soviets are are losing key VPs every moment, and I'm I'm really I'm ho really hoping they can get to Moscow before the Germans go after the UK. That would be the, that would be the best. That'd be the best thing. Okay, so we've got divisions here. Um, you guys should spread out a little bit more. I don't want you guys to get encircled. Well, you're not doing anything. You're not moving, so that's that's good. You guys weren't even going, I don't think, but whatever. We've got... Okay, so we're all ready for the Belgium. We've got... Well, for the Belgium. We've got... We're ready for Belgium. We can move into that territory if we need to, but... For now, let's... Let's, let's, let's let it... Let's let it do its thing. Nice. So we can probably... I, I guess we can just kind of rely on Italy and Germany bringing down... Oh. What happened? Oh, okay. You moved out of the way. That's probably for the best, because you were freaking me out there with... The possibility of an encirclement. There we go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna encircle something here. Don't know how much it's going to be. If we can, yeah, if we can stop them from getting to their. Yep. Oh, you're you're dead. Oh, you're so dead. This is good. This is really good. How's Italy doing? Italy's probably gonna start to struggle with uh, the French Commune. Germany's really pushing on the Soviet Union, which is great. I don't mind. We can let let France stay alive for a little bit. Usually France France always capitulates first. Oh, uh, here we go. Yep. Um Soviet Union Mongo Mongolia, French Commune, there it is. Okay, so I've got to accept this, but at least we've at least we had something ready. Okay, so you're gonna try to push through here if you can. Give some time. Play defensively. We actually might need to just redraw the whole, or I might need to send over a few, because we're we're doing so well on this front. If they're not pushing forward, let's let's wait. Let's wait. Let's let's let these guys continue to do their thing. Let's connect with Italy. Let's connect on an emotional level with Italy. That's what I want to do. <laughs> That's the ultimate plan here. You know, here, slow down a little bit with the uh, the support equipment. Go. I don't think we need all that. Yeah, because we're catching up, kind of, kind of. Give it some time. And uh, house technology. I know that we were researching some things that took quite a long time. German interest in Scandinavia. Slow your roll there, not uh, Hitler. Slow your roll a little bit. Soviet Union has called Luxembourg as uh, our enemy. Whoa. Um. Oh, I don't think this is Luxembourg joined the common turn. Wow, this is crazy. It's the Soviets are are actually pulling more allies than than the British now. I should say the UK. Uh, that's crazy. This is good. This is good. Greece still holding strong, man. Still holding really strong. Okay, so it's 1940. I know there's some things that I can do here. Yep, that's what I want. Improve it. Improve it. Always. If Belgium or I guess uh, the UK isn't going to push us out of, oh, we need to be careful. I hope nationalist Spain and Italy kind of vote because I, I know that I'm I'm lacking on this front. Okay, okay. So it clearly is a little bit of attrition being suffered. Kind of move over here then. I'm gonna I'm gonna move a few divisions here. There you go. You know what? Here, just get grab this. There's a there's clear territory nobody's inside of. I mean, I guess I could grab it with this guy so it doesn't take as long. Soviet Union has called has, has called Netherlands. The ne Whoa. Oh, Netherlands have joined. Okay, I see, I see. I, I thought for a second there they joined the Axis. That was going to be crazy. This is good. Wow. This is, uh, this is a very, very weak 
UK that we have so far. I don't want to say that too early because I feel like that's going to come to to bite us to bite us in the butt if I if I say that too loud, if they hear me say that. But it kind of feels that way. What's down here that I might need? Radar. I I think we can skip out on that for a little bit. I've, I'm researching the things that I need over here. If anything, maybe a land doctrine would be a good a good choice. Or you know what? Let's go after some encryption. It's only gonna take 87 days, anyways. Right now, I just need fighters, but that's fine. I think I've all my fighters are dead, by the way. Uh, pretty pretty sure. Are they? Oh no, I've got I've got some I've got some. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. We're doing some things. Okay. Um, yeah, so could you redraw this front line? Now, I don't want it to be... Yeah, I don't want it to be the whole thing. You know what? We're going to leave it. Or, you know what? I'll edit it. There we go. Where's my edit button? Uh, yeah, so I just want you to connect there. No? There you go. Okay. That's... That's good, because that was going to be a big problem. I still only have seven divisions along the Belgium border, so that could be a problem. Alright, so we're, we're jumping through this real quick. Do we want... Jeez, I don't have resources for uh, fast divisions. I'd love it, though. I would really like it. Let's go down Land Doctor. Yeah, let's continue down this. 240 days. That's, that's pretty ridiculous, but whatever. It's fine. We're kind of not winning some of these battles over here. I got to be a little bit careful. Where's Italy at? I don't see anything in, in Ethiopia, Italy. I don't like that. That does not sound good. Oh, Germany, you're doing great. Okay, how, how close is the Soviet Union to capitulating? Real close. 79% towards capitulation. So pretty much the fall of, uh, the fall of Moscow will probably be the fi finale. How many VPs is it? Are you not gonna, does it not tell me? It doesn't tell me how many VPs Moscow, you think they would, but I guess I'm not over there, so maybe it makes a little bit of sense. French Commune pre pursues nuclear technology. Oh, uh, that's not good. That is not good. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. It's only 1940. They've got, we've got quite a long time before they've got access to that. All right, things uh, things are going well here. There's why do you, why is there so many divisions right here? All right, I guess we're gonna give all this to German. This is gonna be, go to the Nazis. I would have liked the Belgium territory, but whatever. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. We did it. Okay, fall of Stalingrad. Is that it? That will more than likely be it. Moscow's gonna fall. There's the Soviet Union, which means it's all falling. The common turn will fall. More than likely. Okay, hold on. Let me redraw something here. So I want you to kind of come this way. And, um, yeah, so go ahead and begin that now. We got to get it up around this lake somehow because this is going to be annoying. And I I don't know if I want to begin to push forward here. I think we will. Oh, we lost a battle. We need to be careful. We didn't lose a battle. I'm sorry, but I was confused. We've got this guy kind of cornered since he's... Got to get attacked from multiple directions. Let's make sure that we don't get cut off from the rest of our, from the rest of our homeland. That could be a problem. Okay, so we got one oil refinery. Hold on, let me let me make sure because I don't know if there's still no notification when I have a huge surplus. Yes, yeah, you've got a surplus over oil right now. Wait, but am I getting two? I'm only getting eight. I should probably keep that, huh? Uh, let's keep it for now. Because I'm gonna get some more oil, then I'll cancel it with the U.S. Or they'll cancel it with me. Who knows? I, I don't know. They could. Okay, so do we have any new divisions? Oh, we've had a few just sitting here. Okay, get on the front lines. That is exactly the reinforcements that we really needed. Um, I, I still want to build convoys. I don't really think we need to destroy her all that much, but it's fine. Let's keep going convoys because that, that is useful. And, uh, and this is, we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. So we destroy. We we got to get up all the way over here towards Egypt, though, modern day Egypt. We get towards Egypt, then we can just kind of have a battle for sub-Saharan Africa, pretty much towards the west. What is this? Um, the Caspian Sea. Oh, okay. So that's another. Okay, but they're holding back. Moscow is still. They're holding on to Moscow. This is the one that counts the most. Oh man, that front has gotten really divided, though. I mean, it's really kind of wide front for Germany. 
You can tell that they have not put much focus on uh, on the French front at all. Which is the way it, which is the way it needs to be. I mean, it's, that's smart. Uh, material designer, I don't, I think. Ooh, small arms research time. That might be a good idea. Let's do it. For the future, it's 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 for the future. Uh, National Spain, I appreciate uh, your help, but you're not doing anything. So, uh, yeah, just kind of want to throw that out there. Good, good, good. Okay, so we need probably a little more support equipment, but we're in the positives at the very least. Oh, we're gonna need more inf infantry equipment really. More infantry equipment very soon. So I'll pump out this. I'll get more military factories out. We do need to be careful of that. Especially as this war gets bigger and bigger. That's going to become a bigger issue. Okay, so move it. Okay, you're already moving in. Nice. Okay, there's encryption. Still 1940s, so there's not too much of other things I need. Maybe in the industry. You know, get more of... This might be a better idea. Enables building synthetic... Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think we should go after the oil plant. I need to get something. I need to get more oil, baby. I need it. Which, I mean, everybody, every every world leader has said at, at this point. But, uh, you know, it's it's cool. I need it. Okay, so let's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Three factories for... Tw I need that much oil? Or, I'm sorry, this is for steel. Does Italy not have any? I really don't mind going to Sweden. I'm going to go to Sweden just to spread some things out. Spread the love. Okay, so I've been defeated in the North Sea. Oh, they oh they got one of my... India declared war on free India. Nice. Nice. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. Look at that. It's pretty much Pakistan and Northern India versus kind of the British, the British colony. Free India... Oh, did you really just join the Axis? I... Oh, they joined the Allies. Oh, oh, the, oh, whoa. Oh, 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 okay, okay. So India itself, this is confusing. So free India is essentially, who are you led by? Somebody new that I don't know of. Why I don't know why I thought I would know of you. So is India basically... That's so weird. I don't know why the the colors were confusing. India is the puppet of the UK. Obviously, they're part of the Allies. Free India is they did join the Axis. So it's Bangladesh, and then southern, southern India. Sri Lanka is still controlled by the UK. Ooh, you gotta watch the Siamese Empire. No, they're gonna they're more than likely will join. Oh, they're pretty communist, which is interesting. I thought they they usually join the Axis, but I don't know if that's gonna be the case now. Alright, so we've got uh, a few other things, at least to hold on to their northern territories, which is good. Has joined Italy. Good. I don't think they're going to be able to do much here. Okay, Germany, you got it. You got to win this. Take it. Take, Moscow's right there. Please take it. And the Soviet Union. And uh, and we can go home. Actually, you don't even, I don't think you even need to take it. You just need to take anything else worth the equivalent amount of VPs. I think you got it. Free India has joined Japan. Good. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there, though, guys. Uh, things are going pretty well here, obviously. Still have a couple, couple things else to cover, though, before we can uh, feel super comfortable. Needless to say, this is beginning to look like a huge victory for the Axis. Um, I mean, if the Soviet Union capitulate here, if India becomes free and not a part of the Commonwealth anymore, this is all good, and we're doing pretty well in Africa. Uh, I'm a little worried about us in our situation because we still need a lot more military factories. We need to be able to somehow navigate a huge continental war, and I don't think we have the infrastructure up for that just yet, but, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.